There's only one of you, only one of me There's a million of those who won't let us be But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby, I got you, you, you Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel <laughs> And happy new year to you all I just want to start out by telling you guys thank you so much for all the likes, all the shares, all the comments, and all of the subscriptions. I'm so happy to have you guys here with me on my channel and all the positive support that you guys have been sharing and giving and all of the um, advice and decoration advice as well. I'm still currently working on the process of getting my home decorated and so that is the whole reason of for today's visit i know you guys are very anxious to see what i've done to my house so far not too much but i have done some stuff but today we're out here at the model home of my this is the model home out here in houston texas and so i am going to give you guys tour of the model home of what it looks like furnished and this is what i uh, i am aiming for i am aiming to have my house to rep to be very similar to the model because my favorite color is blue I love blue and um, that's what I'm trying to put more in my house the blues the grays and creams so that's what I'm trying to do in my house so this elevation is different from my house um, as you can tell this is the C elevation this elevation costs ten thousand dollars to be added on so it has the stucco up there at the top and then you have the stone and then the, of course you have the patio and the the bricks this is the um brick that i actually have on my house um the summer ash brick so this is the brick that i got but anyway so and see i like how they have so throughout the house they have the blue and the grays themed out so that's why i really love this i really really love this so same entryway and everything as my house now this is the first model home to be like my house to be built because my plan for my house is not that old it's probably about two years old so remember when you come in the house in my house to the right you have the guest room and so this is what it looks like with furniture and everything inside of it i like how calm and subtle everything is um the calm relaxing vibe i like how they have the blues and the grays all tied in throughout this house this is what i'm trying to aim for um, for my house as well um so I do plan on having a dresser over here eventually in my house and a TV up there on the wall mounted. And then I do plan on having my guest bedroom set up just like this as well. Um, probably, you know, pictures over here on this wall, a picture on this wall right here too as well. Um, bathroom, there's not that much to do in the bathroom but i do like how they did this high tall ceiling i don't have that window right there because the reason why that window was added was because they added a fifth bedroom onto this model home so yes all right and then coming back out into the foyer uh, so this right here also is not an upgrade at all for them. this is just something that the builder did just for this house only to have a picture frame holder but I do plan on buying a nice big picture to go right here um, in the area and this is just giving me so many ideas of not to just be totally dark blue everywhere but have grays and whites and creams in the house as well um, so in the office area I do kind of like this right here set up kind of my desk is going to be about the same size and everything we got to look at the i do have my office rug in as well um, and i do like how they did these pictures in here as well and then they have these shelves right here so it's a nice idea uh, but that's what i think i might do but i know chinese 
prop is that our or the Chinese belief is that you should never have your back towards a window because if you have your back towards a window, you are allowing knowledge to escape and out that you should have your back towards a wall. So currently in my house, I have it set up for my desk to be right here in my back towards a wall. That's what I have. But I mean, I'm not that superstitious though. So if I'm sitting like this in my house, um, I, I will have a TV eventually over here where I can watch and see and I can also see out there and I can see out the window, even though it's nothing but my neighbors. <laughs> but I like having that nice light flow in as well. And another thing is that I do like the the lights up here that they have and the ceiling fan that they have in here. So these are just ideas of what I can do in the future. Uh, so I will have to talk to an electrician about that. And I think I have a good electrician that would be able to help me out. So coming down furthermore in the foyer, I like how they have the picture right here, which I do have a picture in my house right there. I think it's that big. No, this is bigger. And then I like how they have this all dashed up. I like that right there. Now, if you notice in my house, when you come in, I don't have this part right there. That's the part, I just left that part off. So then coming on down here, Furthermore, into the kitchen. So I just like how bright everything is as well. So nice kitchen island. So once again, they do have the four bar stools, and I do have four bar stools in mine as well. And then I like the how they have the place set up, and then the plant. And I like the chandelier. But remember, I have the pendulums um, hanging down. But that was a good idea. Um, Walk-in pantry and my empty house tour. I did not show you guys my pantry So this is right here can show you and give you an idea of what my pantry um, Looks like now my pantry is not this clean because I got a lot of stuff in there. It's right now though And this right here I will talk to you guys about that right there That is to be discussed about because if you go back and watch my video, you're not gonna see this it was a mess up in my house. This was not added correctly. This is everything from here. Here was added correctly, but not that other part. But anyway, so I love the kitchen. I love the island. Um, I love the cabinets as well. Um, the uppers were an upgrade. So in order to do uppers, they are an upgrade. And also if you want to make it glass, that's an upgrade too as well. But this is just... I like how the kitchen looks. And I like how they got the music over here playing as well. But this looks nice. So in the dining room area here. In the dining room area, you have the pictures hanging up in the back, right? The nice big long pictures. I want to steal their pictures so badly. I like them so much. I like all the, all the just cream, and I'm just in love with it. I would love to steal this. <laughs> no, I don't agree with the rug. I just can't get with that. But other than that, from up from the table and up, I love that. I like that. And then these are the bar stools. I fell in love with these bar stools that I try my best to match my bar stools to these right here. And so I think I was kind of successful at doing that. And then once again, you know, you can see upstairs and everything. They have a nice picture there. And then look at how way they tied in the blues again with the house. So it has the exact same paint color on the walls as my house. So I just love how bright and everything it is. It's just that in my house, the floors are not as, they're not this dark brown or not this brown. Mine's is more of a, it just depends on how the light hits the floor. And this is how I, I'm trying to set up my couches in my living room. So I have couches that are just like these. They are Elliott White snow couches. So I have to put pops of blue pillows on there. That's what I plan on doing. And then I have been quoted about $6,000 just for the drapes alone by themselves because they will be custom made and then the rod up there too as well i will have to that's some that's even more money so i have to take a look to see how i'm going to get that done 
But once again, this is what it looks like being furnished. And this is what I'm going to try to mimic as well. So I need, I need to know where can I go find more plants like this? And where can I find more pieces like this? I really don't want to put nothing in the middle of my floor. I just want my rug to be a, to be left open is what I really want. I don't want an island or a centerpiece, really. I just feel like it makes the room feel bigger. I mean, it still feel big. And you see what they did here? They had to, they bumped the couch up off the wall and put a table back here. And see, I currently haven't did that yet. And then over here in the bedroom area. So once again, this is the bedroom area. This room feels very, very big. I would love to do a feature wall in the back of my bed on the wall back there. I would love to do that. I like the light color blue gray that they painted back there and all the furniture ties in well with that. I have great carpet as well in my bedroom. And then I have my TV up there and I have my dresser. Now, um, I, I have to change the out plug outlet that's for my TVs. That's um, for the mount up on the wall in the bedroom, well, my bedroom, um, the living room, and in the game room because they need to be recessed plug outlets. So if you're planning on having your TV flushed flat on the wall, make sure you talk to your builder about getting a, rec uh, a recess um, flushed um, plug outlet there. But yeah, this is a nice bedroom. I like how they decorated it. It's nice. And once again, this is just giving ideas of what I need to do. Or what I still have not found a comforter set either. I want a nice comforter set too as well. Just having a hard time finding the right one. Um, so now this bathroom is a little bit different from mine. So as you can see here, they have the free floating tub. Um, this is an option for you. I went with the free option where you see mine is lower down in the in the ground. But to do this option right here was about three thousand dollars. I didn't know until later on. If I had known, I would have did it. But oh well, I'm fine. I can always remodel my bathroom later on to get that. Um, but yeah. So and then the shower looks like this right here. Uh, in this house. I do like their floors and everything too. But once again, they did a good job with trying to tie in the blues and the grays in the house. I, I do like these, this setup right here. All that is so nice. I love that. And this are the exact same countertops as well that I have in my bathroom. I have the exact same countertop as well. And see, they put a glass outlet right here. Hmm, see, I'll be wondering. My house is not in my glass like this. I think my, was, my mirror cut off short. Hmm. And so, and then, of course, you know, you have the walk-in closet uh, for this house right here. So, you have the walk-in closet. Now, you know, for me at my house, now I can go from here and into the, the laundry room. It isn't, it was an option, a free option actually, um, for, it's a door that's actually here, but if you want this to be walled in, you can have that walled in as well. You wouldn't be able to go from your closet to the laundry room, then to the um, main foyer area. But a lot of people go with uh, the adding a door or either it's it's pretty much given. They didn't even give me the option. They didn't say nothing to me about it, so I got it. <laughs> um, so that's the owner suite and owner's bathroom. So coming back out here. Going upstairs. So 
So upstairs, this is their game room right here. This is a game room, how way they have it designed and laid out. Now I did opposite. I have my TV set to go over here on this wall and not over here. Um, I don't think I will want a big table in my game room. I don't know. I never seen nothing like this in a game room before. So I guess just it depends on who you are and everything like that. If you want that in your game room. But yeah. So remember I was telling you if you want to add on the movie theater room, you can. It was sixteen thousand dollars to add this on and i just didn't do it i i'm like i'll come back to that later but i can't add this on so you're literally standing over the bat the owner's bathroom so it's very comfortable the furniture is kind of low to the floor and everything this is how I'm going to, have, I have to open up my attic to do it. I can do it. I just have to hire an engineer and the builder has already confirmed that. You know, I just have to get with an engineer. But when I do, I would want it the same setup. TV on this wall. I want the, uh, you know, the chest or cabinet, whatever, down there. Pictures. I really, I do like this setup, but I also was going to try to do, a, you know, a rise actually when I do decide to open up my attic do a rise a stage you know so you can go up on the tooth um with your furniture like have a nice chair here nice chair there go to the back with another chair or a row of chairs there you know and just feel like you're in the real movie theater room you know that's what I was trying to aim for what I will probably try to aim for all right and then so coming over here so you remember when we went out in my house, so you can see from downstairs, you remember at my, if you look at my empty house tour, when I was walking right here, I said, this is the attic, you know? So if you wanted this other bedroom to be added on, you can have it added on. It was about anywhere from 35 to $40,000 to add this on. Other than that, yeah. And so, because of this bedroom is added on, it does change the layout of this room and the bathroom right here. So, just looking at this added on bathroom, bedroom, you see how big it is? Like, this is where my AC unit, air duct, um, what else is up in the attic? All this is just what's in there right now. So, this is what, how much amount of space that you have. If you converted this room, the attic space, into a, a room. It's like another owner suite for this house. You know, so I like that. You have a walk-in closet right here. So you have this walk-in closet. Walk-in closet. And then here you have your um, own bathroom ensuite bathroom for your guests so hey and once again it's a nice size room really nice size that's one thing i do like about tri-point homes is that their bedrooms is very well spacious and they give you enough space in your living room area and dining room area your house does not feel like a small tiny box or the bedrooms don't feel like a small tiny box so this will be, so that was bedroom number one upstairs. So this is now bedroom number two, which is my bedroom number one. So you remember when I go in my room, my closet, walk-in closet is over there. But because that room is over there now, this room does feel a little bit tight. It does feel a little bit tight. But anyway, so now the closet is over here and it's actually bigger. And because it, now you know the bathroom is on this other side. So, but they made this as a girl's room. It's still a nice size room. This is, it's, it's a little bit tight, but it's a nice size. It's a nice size for a kid. And then coming down here, then you have the bathroom. And so now at my house, that's the linen closet right there. 
in my house, the linen closet is straight dead ahead. But because of the fifth bedroom being added on, you have the linen closet over here. And now you have your vanity over here. Okay, and then that puts your toilet, your washcloth over here. And tub. And you don't have the window no more. Oh, yeah. So then in the last bedroom up uh, in the house and upstairs, which is my favorite room, I like how it, with the linen closet being removed from here, it makes the room feel even bigger upstairs, this bedroom. And once again, they did a good job with the blues, the pictures. I love that. They painted the walls a light baby blue grayish tone and I like the carpet that they went with as well in here because the carpet that I went I did upgrade my carpet it was still a low grade carpet but I upgraded it because it's supposed to have been a brown carpet was the free carpet and nobody wants brown carpet that's just tacky and they know it so <laughs> so I upgraded the color of the carpet is what I technically did I, uh, I did that, and by me doing that, you know, but I, I do like this carpet that I'm walking on. It is very, very nice, but once again, they did a good job, like I said. What you guys think? I like it. I, I like how this house is decorated. Um, This is what I'm trying my best to replicate, Uh, you know, so... I have I have had so many family and friends to come over already to the house and stay and see the house. They love it, and decorate it. So yeah, so I just got to make my house come to life like this right here. <sighs> Trying my best. Well. That is it for today's champ uh, for today's vlog. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys on everything. Uh, if you have any questions um, that you'd like for me to discuss in another video, I will. I know a lot of people have been asking me about my journey. How did I get here? And well the lord is nobody but god that helped me get here but uh yeah i i do plan on um, sharing my story and giving you advice and how to you know get prepared for buying something like this because you are able to get a house like this always know that you are able to get the heart the desires of your heart you just gotta believe in it if you believe and trust god trust me you can get the desires of your heart you have to have faith and you have to put in the work gotta have both to do it. but anyway that's enough that's gonna be it for today's video um, as usual like share comment and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video bye we need to be replaced i haven't seen water come from that one i couldn't face what i couldn't Cause every time